pulsatilla and silica are also um, very close to each other you know you can say almost silica is the chronic of pulsatilla you know they often complement each other but the difference is that in silica there's a lot of uh, fixity and rigidity which is very uh, adaptable in uh, in pulsatilla uh, silica is obstinate rigid in its views though he may not express it and pulsatilla is mild and irresolute another symptom of pulsatilla cannot make up her mind you know she doesn't have strong opinions silica knows exactly you know what is what is what silica is aversion to consolation pulsatilla craves it silica is egoistic you know he thinks something of himself pulsatilla is so humble silica is hard pulsatilla is soft silica is chilly pulsatilla wants fresh air so there are certain and pulsatilla grows in sandy soil so there is also the connection with silica which is sand but now at this point i would like to indicate some of the uh, confirmation symptoms of pulsatilla one is the desire for open air is very very strong i mean if i think this person is pulsatilla i will ask four or five questions to confirm one is the how do you feel if the windows are open or shut now this question should be not leading you cannot say uh, do you feel suffocated in a closed room no 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 i will ask if the windows are open or shut does it make any difference to you this is the way you must ask the question you see and not directly secondly uh, i ask for the position in sleep and this is very interesting in pulsatilla that they often sleep on the sides one side and with the arms either above the head or below the head either above the head even they can lie on the back with the arms above the head or on the side with the arms below the head this is very very interesting uh, confirmation i get it in every pulsatilla case almost 99% and if this is not there i think i am not sure this is pulsatilla uh, third of course is they are generally thirstless but here i must point out to you that when a person says when you ask them you know how much thirst you have and they say to you i drink 10 glasses of water you must confirm whether this is because of thirst or because they have been advised to drink or they think it is good for health second question is what kind of water do they drink so often pulsatilla has aversion to normal water but desire for cold water so you must make these distinctions about thirstlessness the fourth indication of pulsatilla is their sleep that it takes a long time for them to fall asleep it's not easy to fall asleep and this was pointed out to me by a very nice colleague of mine dr lm khan from calcutta who said to me that in hanuman's materia medica pura i think or in chronic diseases in the introduction to pulsatilla hanuman has written it is indicated in mild yielding women who find it difficult to fall asleep who take a long time before they fall asleep and this is also a confirmation very interesting confirmation of pulsatilla another um, confirmation of pulsatilla is their cravings if you see fatex materia medica it is written crave for acids or what disagrees that means pulsatilla if you ask him what do you like oh i like sour food but i cannot eat it causes acidity i like oily food but i cannot eat it because it causes something else i like um, you know spicy food but no 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 i cannot eat it because it causes something else so every food that they crave is the food that aggravates so craves what disagrees there's a rubric in fatex repertory desires what disagrees is very uh, very useful indication so if a pulse person tells you you know i like this i like that but all of this disagrees with me Uh, that is uh, a good indication for pulsatilla uh, 